I love the tree. It's so f it's so nice, and you have this grassy area, and like we have lots of grassy areas here, but it's getting sort of cold, and it rains during the day, so like. It's not really like a place I can always go and sit outside. There's like a kids park over here that I played on the other night and oh my god it's so amazing. This park has everything. It's like everything. There's even this giant, yeah I showed you, uh, it was in one of the videos I did, but it's like a, uh, it's so cool. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. So yeah. I downloaded Swedish apps last night for helping me learn Swedish and I actually did that when I was in Germany and when I was in Switzerland to try and get by there but I got here and like forgot or something so go you. You know I was trying to go to like gyms and stuff like that and uh, find yoga classes and things. I finally gave up and um, I bought a yoga mat, so I've just been doing yoga here in my apartment, which is small. There's like this little like space between the two beds. Yeah, <laughs> that's the space. <laughs> There's not much of it, but it's enough. And um, I've just been kind of doing things I remember from my yoga class that I've been going to for a really long time back home. But I'm going to try to look up like podcasts and stuff like that so I can learn like different things and stuff. So if I find anything really good, I will share it with you because yoga is kind of amazing. So, yeah. So apparently now you have three part-time jobs in addition to school and rushing and being awesome and sleeping, I hope. <laughs> um, so you're really busy. And I know it's going to be tough, but if anybody can do it, you can do it, because I believe in you. So you were talking about how you opened a beer bottle using um, a flathead screwdriver. And we actually had a similar issue, uh, Ryan and I, when we were in Germany, because we stayed... Um, when we first got into Frankfurt, we ended up in a different hotel for one night, and then we stayed somewhere else for the last two nights that we were there. Um, but the first night we stayed in, it's kind of just like apartments, and they had like a common kitchen. It was kind of nice. I really liked it. It was really pretty, and, and there's a big like uh, picture of a lion on the wall, and it looked like Ikea, just like everything else in Europe apparently. Looks like Ikea. Um, anyways, the point is, uh, we went to the grocery store and Ryan got we got beers or something, I don't remember. We came back and lo and behold, there was no bottle opener. There wasn't even like a bottle opener like in the kitchen, I don't think. So what I ended up doing was I went in the kitchen and found a metal spoon, like one of those really big ones you'd use for like stirring something in a pot or something like that. And it had um, like an oval shape, that's terrible oval, uh, an oval shape. <laughs> inside the handle on the end it looked kind of like like this thing and um yeah so I used that to pry around the edges and open the beer bottle and I felt accomplished also I can't believe the top part of the bottle came off that's kinda ridiculous so another thing I've been really unobservant lately because um, with not having work and having class like not very often I almost never know what day of the week it is or really what the date is so today's the 12th because my computer tells me that but otherwise I don't know <laughs> and I was like oh yeah today's Wednesday so there's supposed to be ACA tonight and um I met uh, a group of jugglers in the park that were passing clubs and I tried to befriend them and they meet on Wednesdays at 7 so I'm gonna go and hopefully get better at passing clubs, or not passing clubs, God, just juggling them to begin with because I don't know why but clubs are just difficult for me. My hand-eye coordination is a little bit subpar but working on it. Okay. 
and uh, now that I've made poi, I can practice poi while they're practicing uh, passing because they do that a lot. But I'm really jealous. They have like all cool like formations and stuff. I wish Tom was here because Tom would really enjoy this too. Tom, if you're watching this. And um, I posted on a group for um, like burners in Sweden. Um, and they're meeting, there's actually a meetup that I'm not going to be able to make it to because it's really late and like two and a half hours away by public transportation. Um, but it's in Gothenburg and it's a bunch of um, people meeting up to just kind of talk and hang out and, and make gifts to give away like uh, at events and stuff like that. So a little bit jealous because I want to go but can't because it's like really far away and costs money and time. Anyway, so it looks like it might rain soon, and I kind of want to get to campus before it does so I can sit down and have a cup of coffee and hang out with some friends and stuff. And then um, there's like a secondhand store, like a big one. Well, two of them I found out over by this other store. And I'm hoping to go over to one that's open today. Um, the other one's only open on Tuesday, Thursdays, and... Uh, Saturdays or something, but um, we're talking about trying to do different sports like volleyball. They have volleyball here. I might be doing volleyball soon. And they have floorball, which is apparently just like hockey, but without ice skates. So, but in order to play floorball, you have to have like your own floorball bat stick, hockey stick thing. Yeah. So. If they have one of those, then I'll have to fight over it with everyone because everyone needs one right now because you can't play without them and they're kind of expensive. So, I miss you and I will talk to you soon.